beautiful day in northern Sweden. Temperature about minus 10. And uh, yeah, out in nature. <laughs> in the morning the sun is just about to come up for a couple of hours anyway we're just going for a little stroll to explore some of northern Sweden's beautiful country we all have to wear uh, special spiked shoes because the ice is so slippery when we walk. So there's uh, metal spikes to uh, stop you from sliding around on the ice. And as the spikes pierce the ice, they make a, uh, a delicious crunching sound. Kind of like you're walking on bubble wrap and popping the bubbles as you walk along. But it does actually sound like there's a, an army marching with you with that crunching sound. It's a spark. And why why do you use this uh, spark? If I translate the word spark, it will be a kick. A kick? A kick, yeah. Uh -huh. Because kick I go is... this way. Yeah? Look, the spark. Ah! And so goes the local on his spark. You take this everywhere you go. It's a no, not <laughs> make life easy to, to, to get around. The, the front there. there. Who, who will sit there? Who? who? This is for, for my companion. For your companion. Yes. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay, thank you so much. Goodbye. All right, tack. Well, there you go. <laughs> have the community uh, kind of, I don't know, little sleds. Might have to give one a try. Just be an ankle strap in case it gets, uh, ankle strap in case it gets away and I think this one actually has brakes as well. Not sure how to use them but we'll give it a shot. Maybe you're too heavy, Chris. <laughs> Here we go. Learning, learning how to do it. That's an handle, adult. <laughs> it's an interesting way of getting around in northern Sweden. It's called the uh, the kick scooter, the sparka. And that's how you get around in northern Sweden. Sparka. Ah. different. Yeah. It's from? Yeah, let us see.
Sparka! 